All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between the General's kneaded eraser and the Prismacolor kneaded eraser. I have two that I've already opened here. This is the General's, and it's soft, it's very flexible, really easy to manipulate. It does not have the same stretch that the Prismacolor has. So this, is, you can see it's moving really easily if I'm pushing on it, but if I go to try to stretch it even slowly, it just rips and breaks. In terms of using it, I can still shape it. I can try to remove charcoal like that. Um, one of my favorite ways to use a kneaded eraser is if I don't want to lose any detail. But I want to lighten the value, then kind of stretch it out, press that onto there, and pick up some of the charcoal. And then you can see all of the detail is still there, and I just lightened it without losing any of the actual work itself. And then of course, to clean it, you're folding it. Um, Prismacolor. Okay. This one's a little bit harder. It's more difficult to manipulate. I'm putting a good amount of pressure on there, but once I get some heat from my hands in there, it does get easier to manipulate and it gets softer, but it clearly has a lot more stretch, um, which I personally like. If I pull fast and it's still cold, it snaps, but even then you can see it's much smoother versus the chunkier one from the Generals. In terms of using it on the paper, I think it has a little bit more um, removing power, not a ton, a little bit more, and I like it for that detail thing. Again, lighten it up, press that onto there, and I think it does a really nice job. You can see the texture of the paper and the pencil marks, and it just lightened it all up without removing any of those details. So they both work fine. My preference is the feel of the Prismacolor versus um, this being kind of more almost like a crumbly texture.